First on this Sunday evening, think Amber Alert, Civil Alert, and now one just to protect police officers. You may have seen a blue alert and wondered what it was. It's only been around statewide for a few months. Now there's a big push to make sure you know exactly what it means. KXAN's Arzo Dost explains. A Texas state trooper shot and killed the suspect on the run. It didn't take long for a blue alert to get plastered on highway signs, over phones, and on social media on Thanksgiving. Anything we can do to increase the odds of catching that person as quickly as possible to safeguard the public is critical. It's similar to the amber or silver alert. The Department of Public Safety pushes the alert out if an officer is hurt or killed in the line of duty and a suspect is on the run. Kevin Lawrence with the Texas Municipal Police Association hopes the blue alert becomes as well known as the others. It, it may not be that every time the alert goes out, it, it, we see dividends, we see results. But the fact of the matter is, if it's one case in a hundred, if it's one case in a thousand, that makes it worth the effort. Ray Hunt with the Police Officers Union in Houston works closely with Lawrence. He echoes the importance of the blue alert. It's a big morale booster for police whenever we know that our leaders support us. State lawmakers renewed their focus on police protection this last session, requiring the statewide alert system. For people who shoot at police are going to be the worst of the worst. They have nothing at that point to, to fear except, uh, except death. And uh, so it's very important that, that citizens and police officers know whenever we have a, a cop killer or a cop shooter out there on the streets. Arzo Dost, KXAN News. Now to get blue alerts, head to archaicsand.com website for details. 27 states are already using the blue alerts. The FCC is looking at making it easy and consistent across the country. A vote is expected next week. Looking deeper into how a blue alert works, the law enforcement agency involved would request one. Then the Department of Public Safety would determine if there was enough to put out the alert. Requirements would include a clear description, car information, a suspect's name, or an imminent and credible threat. This is similar to the process of requesting an Amber Alert. To request one of those, a child must be under 17 years old and taken against their will. They must also have been taken by someone unrelated or, do, or who does not have custody. It is important to note in both cases, these are guidelines and could change based on a case-to-case -case basis. Even with the blue alert being used in every state, it is not included in an emergency alert, uh, emergency alert system or an EAS component. In fact, amber and civil alerts are also not included. The only EAS alerts required to run no matter what are presidential emergency messages, required monthly tests, and required weekly tests.